So there you are, you're dating somebody, things seem to be going well, and then something happens in the relationship where you're like, this is just not sitting right with me. Is this shady or not? You go ahead and you email us at thebirtshow.com. We ask our early Burt Show listeners, is this shady or not? Hit us up at thebirtshow.com. Mo's got the email. Am I being ridiculous for feeling awkward about this situation? Or is there a reason that my first instinct was to think this is inappropriate? So my boyfriend and I have been together for a little over a year. I would definitely say this is a serious relationship, and we are headed in the direction of marriage. Fingers crossed. So getting to know his relatives is important to me, and I want to do all I can to feel included as a part of the family. Well, his cousin is getting married this weekend. He and I were both supposed to go to the wedding. It's out of town, and we already have a hotel room booked. Our bags are packed, etc. Unfortunately, he just had a major issue come up at his job, and now he can't go. I assumed that meant I wasn't going either. We were out to dinner with his dad last night, and my boyfriend told him that we couldn't go anymore. His dad insisted that I should still go to the wedding. He said that the family was expecting both of us, and it would be a shame for both of us to have to RSVP and cancel at the last minute. His dad, who is 56 and happens to be single, jokingly said, You can be my date. It seemed kind of weird even though I think it really was just an awkward dad joke. My boyfriend said it's up to me if I want to still go. Part of me wants to go just to make a good impression on the family. The other part of me thinks it's odd to go with his dad when my boyfriend isn't there. Thoughts? Odd. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was done. All right, that was yeah. Quick. What's next? Okay, moving on. We got like <sighs> three more minutes. <laughs> we're gonna have to think of something. Let's disagree. Yeah, okay. we're gonna have to tap dance on this one for a couple of minutes because, mm. um, yeah, I mean, under no, sir. I mean, it's not like they've been if they were with each other for a decade, or if they were married. We're married. Yes. I could kind of understand it, but. This seems so strange. She hasn't had a lot of interaction with the family yet already. So for the dad, I'm, well, look, we don't know about the, anything about this guy, but I think in a situation like this, you almost have to uh, anticipate the worst because she's going to be alone. She's going to be around 56-year-old dude who's jokingly saying that he's the date. Maybe that's over the top, but I yeah. don't know, Mo. I do think it's odd, and if I was in a situation, I wouldn't want to go, but if you're going to look at the other side of it, right, what better way to really get to see what his family is like if this is the dude that you ultimately do want to marry. Oh, let me tell you, when I met Bart's family, so many things made sense. <laughs> <laughs> it all came together. Yeah. And now I'm putting myself in her shoes. Um, and like if Bart's dad, you know, granted, we are you know, 15, 16 years in now, so it's different. But even that first year, if he needed somebody, what I look at it is like it's not a date to a wedding. The dad is looking for company to attend the family wedding. And so you are that company. Mm -hmm. You're not the date. You're just company. And you're staying in separate rooms. Literally the only place you're going to together is the wedding so you can meet the rest of the family. The more I think about it, I don't. the less odd it becomes. Hold on, he didn't read the whole thing. P.S. We are staying in the same room. No, they no. are not. <laughs> Ooh, that, that would change things. <laughs> I don't, I don't. I still don't like it. Like I'm trying to find, and but I mean, I understand. Like you should want to go. Like Mo said, that is such an open. That's such an awesome way to go and get a bird's eye view of his whole family and be like, am I down for this? You know, like you learn a lot about Bart when you see his family. So I'm, I'm like, I get that, but also any reason to not attend a wedding is <laughs> big <fit>. anyone. <laughs> please let me have it. And the fact that he can't be there with me, I'm not gonna go. Like even Blair and I married. He wasn't able to go to a wedding, so I was like, nice, I'm off the hook. I can just send a really nice gift. Yeah. Um, the one line, though, my boyfriend said it's up to me if I still want to go. If he would have said, no, go, then I feel like, yeah, go. That's It's honestly not that big a deal. The fact that he said it's up to me feels like a test in a way. Would that be a test? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Is the Dude, whole family I testing? wouldn't mean it as a test. Yeah, dudes don't test. Uh -uh. We're not. Yeah, we don't what? think that. Yes, you do. I don't. Do. I, 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 most guys I know do not test. You don't even know you're doing it. Maybe. <laughs> that could be it. <laughs> maybe. Uh, maybe, but... <laughs> But like, it, it, yeah, I, you know, the old saying that women play chess, guys play checkers. I yeah. think that's generally true. Like, I would want you to go, but yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to put that pressure on you. So I would have said the same thing. OK, I can see that side of it. I can see that side of it. There's so, just something about it, even though they've been with each other for over a year. It would just make me feel so strange be, to, to mm. be at this event 
pretty much solo. When I rarely, I barely know anybody there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, man. Weddings are, it's tricky. Because you don't know anybody, it, dad becomes your date. Yeah. Like you yeah. are talking to him all night. And I, I'm like, that doesn't yeah. suck. I think my husband's dad is kick ass. Like I could talk to him all day. But if he was like, so you're my date for the wedding, that would be a little weird. Yeah. I say, you know, go, go to the reception. Get nice and buzz. Make out with pop. See if oh there's any chemistry like, there bleh. as a backup Why'd you plan. Do that? <laughs> I say as a if, backup plan to a dark place. If you're an introvert, don't go. If you're an extrovert, go. Make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. You want to get right. yourself a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the bird show.